The English short O sound is generally quite easy to pronounce no matter what your native language is. But even though you're probably able to easily pronounce this sound, I bet you're still mispronouncing many of the words that have the short O, like job, hot, college, October, and store names like Ross and Costco. Find out why in this video and how to easily correct this common mispronunciation. What makes the short O difficult is not its pronunciation. It's that you don't realize that words with short O spellings in English are pronounced with an A ah sound rather than an O sound. Most non-native speakers consider A ah the sound an A makes, since you probably write this sound with the letter A in your native language if you use the Roman alphabet. But in fact, in American English, the letter A is rarely pronounced A. Ah. Instead, the letter A is usually pronounced A, A, or A. Uh. If you'd like more information on how the short A is pronounced, take a look at my video on that sound as well. So all of the vowel letters in English have at least two different pronunciations, what we call a long sound and a short sound. A long O in English is probably pronounced closer to what you think of when I say the letter O. But what we Americans call short O and write with a single letter O within a syllable is pronounced AH. And what's more, this sound is very consistent in its spelling, so it's easy to recognize. Here are some common short O words. Problem not, body, stop, office, college, and possible. Notice how they're all spelled with just one single O inside a syllable. Let's take a quick look at the pronunciation of this sound in case you have any doubts. This is the sound you'll make if your doctor wants to take a look at your throat. Open your mouth as much as possible and pull your tongue back slightly. Ah, ah. Say these short O words with me. Job, hot. Now let's practice the short O sound in some more words. Probably, project, common, hospital, technology, knowledge, conference, and October. And notice in October that only the first O is pronounced with a short O. The second O is pronounced with a long O, a different sound. Now remember, the written letter O can be a tricky one. There can be various possible pronunciations. You can't assume that all words written with an O will be pronounced like a short O, like A, ah, or a long O, like O. Oh. If you're unsure, please consult a dictionary or ask a native speaker about the pronunciation of unknown words to make sure. Now let's practice some sample sentences with the short O pronunciation. Make sure to pronounce them exactly like I do, including matching my rhythm and melody. Number one. Jonathan got some new socks at Ross. Two. It probably won't be hot in October. Three, Costco is a popular place to shop. Four, I have the opportunity to discuss my project at the conference. If you like this video, make sure to watch my video on the awe sound. 
The international phonetic alphabet symbol for this sound is a backwards C. It looks a bit like this. You may have seen it noted in dictionaries when looking up how to pronounce some words. In some regions of the United States, this is a separate sound from the short O. But in a large part of the U.S., we pronounce both the short O and the O sound exactly the same. The O sound has a lot of possible spellings. You can find out all about these spellings and how to pronounce this sound as well in my next video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do and hit the little bell icon to be notified when new videos are posted, which is typically on Fridays. Thanks for watching.